before I start this video, I just want to let everyone know that I do not make my chicken adobo like this. This is just a test experiment. I already know I'm going to get flamed in the comments for being Filipino and cooking chicken adobo this way. This is just an experiment. Okay, peace. We're gonna start with five D bone chicken thighs. I got these from Costco. Then we're gonna be using the Tiger rice cooker that I also got from Costco. Garlic, onion, brown sugar. Oh, made a little mess there. Gotta go clean it up. And then we're gonna use soy sauce, dark soy sauce, vinegar. We're gonna chop the onions, get it all ready. We're gonna get the rice cooker. We're gonna put the skin fat side down, put the onions. We're gonna use one heaping tablespoon of garlic half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of vinegar, and then one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, and then about three tablespoons of brown sugar. Here you go, go ahead and mix it all up, and then we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and grab it. My mic was not working. Uh, one key ingredient that I forgot was the bay leaf. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Um, I have to stay a little quiet. Kai is sleeping, but let's go check it out. Okay, it looks like adobo. We'll give it a taste. Okay. This is what it looks like. Actually, it looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go give it a try. See if it actually tastes good. Let's give this a try. One thing that I noticed, the chicken is very stringy. I think it might be a little overcooked. Yeah, it looks pretty good to be honest. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Time for the taste test. Here we go, here we go. I mean, it's chicken adobo. It's good. It's just a little overcooked, but flavor's still there. Yeah. Shoot, I would do this again. The only thing that's missing, the skin isn't that crispy. Usually you pan fry it, but other than that, it's good. Mm. Honestly, this is really, really good. I might do this a lot more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 